Hello YouTube, this is Tiffany from TV Butter. Welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little bit weird, please excuse me because I was sick in the past few days and today I finally feel better. Um, so I decided to go ahead and film this video for you guys. So this video is about my Follow Fast A5 size in original red. I really love this red. I really love the size because it's all time stay home planner. So it doesn't matter if it's too bulky or if it's too heavy because it's always stay home. So um, yeah, the, the color is pretty accurate. Um, it just it's just the red that you are watch watching now is the um, correct color. <clears throat> so let's do a comparison with the personal size this so this is my personal size pattern nude so as you can see it's a lot wider is slightly taller and i oh i already put a lot of stuff in here as you can see it's pretty stuff so yeah let's dive in um <clears throat> when you open it up um so i have to say that i have a a lot of Coco Daisy kit stuff in here because I just subscribed their their October kit, but I just can't wait to use all the stickers and and sticky notes and pens etc. So those things are from Coco Daisy. They have the die cut flower. Um, this is the die cut flower, and then they have this lock um sticky note very cute and then they include this gel pen in the October kit <clears throat> under this big pocket I have a few um, stickers and in this to do or to buy list uh, paper <clears throat> and then those stickers are from Coco Daisy they are very very cute I love the um, autumn theme or flower theme so much I, I love the color it's kind of pastel and this is the October um, sticker kit I already used some of them as you can see and then I have this uh, <clears throat> cute animal stickers from cute things from Japan on Etsy I will link all the shop down below in the description box and the owner is, was very kind. Um, he or she include those cute little uh, stickers and washi tape sample in the package. So I just put it in. A, uh, I just pull it under the pocket in case I need some of those washi tape. So here's my um, main planner setup. I have this. Uh, gold foiled roses volume paper on top and then I have my dashboard um, this I got it from flow magazine I really like the pattern the drawing and the quote in here so I just cut it in size laminated hole punch and put it in here at the back I just have those um, to do or to buy list paper and then this is my September September gold page <clears throat> it was inspired by plan to create i will link a video down below so basically i just purchased the uh, download version of those tag from studio calico i just download it and print it in one page and yeah just <clears throat> hole punch it and put it here so basically those are the goals or things i want myself to do in september like think positive, be creative, smile every day, do more readings, books. So it's more kind of like personal. It's not like I need to hit 8,000 followers on Instagram, nothing like that. But I do have YouTube and Instagram here. Um, just I need to pay more, pay more attention on them uh, because recently I just feel like I'm too lazy. Um, so I didn't update um, update my channel that often. So I just put them in here, just jog my um, attention. So that's that. 
And then here's my first dashboard. I have a transparent dash a divider, not dashboard, divider. Um, this one is from Heidi Swap, and this one is from Mitted Sugar. I will just link everything down below. <clears throat> and then I have this month and the and the, on the page layout. I have a similar one in my personal size as well. I will show you guys. Okay, so this is the one on um, in my personal size. This one is in my A5 size. So basically, they work the same. But um, what's inside this calendar is totally different because this one is my personal life, my expenses, or my you know my day with my friend, uh, movie nights, etc. This one is more about my work, more about my online shop or Etsy. So yeah, they're basically different, but they work the same in the same format. <clears throat> so this one is you can see like I need to send a letter. Uh, we, um, my boyfriend and I went to Jericho Beach. Uh, we visit my par uh, my boyfriend's parents, etc. So and birthday. So just everything personal. I will just jot down in here. And then I have this clip, um, so <clears throat> if I want to go deeper on this calendar, it's my month on two pages. I have a clip here, clip here from Studio Calico. No, 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 it's from, <laughs> it's from um, Coco Daisy, sorry. Um, so this is month on two pages. This is from So Much Crafting. I keep all the month on two pages until June 2017. So basically, as you can see here, I do a little bit color quote. <clears throat> I use red color <clears throat> pen to jot down my expenses. Um, like we pay the rent, 1000 and then I will just include the um, what, uh, which, which bank card we use, and then <clears throat> uh, we spend this much on fruit and we went to grocery so any expenses I will just jot down in red color and then some date I will just use my brush pen and I also jot down my laundry day garbage day etc so just kind of like a month over will so yeah um, I keep some of those and then here is my week on two pages section <clears throat> this insert is from coco daisy this one actually is the august kit but i just love the watercolor i love the color so much so i had to get it um it came with seven holes so i had to cover it, cover the holes with washi tape and then repunch it it took a long time but it's totally worth it so I will show you a blank one first. Um, it look okay, not this one. Um, it look like this is blank at the front, and then you have your week on two pages, and then you will have another blank grid page. So basically, what I do is I will have my weekly goal in here, and <clears throat> at the same time, I just practice my writing. So it's like happy planning, be grateful, goal selling, setting, etc. Just like things I want to do in this week um, or things that make myself feel better. And then because it's, the page is already so beautiful, so I don't need to decorate that much. I just basically jot down what I need to do every day. Like I need to pick up my prize, I need to visit vintage bookstore and Pokemon and do some reading. I have I have this bookmark that I make by myself. Um, kind of highlight the page in here. If I have a busy day, I will have this um, daily to do page to do sheet um, in between the week. Also, I will jot on the date of it. So it's kind of easier for me to <clears throat> um, to keep track of things like. Um, if I have a busy Monday, like here, and then I need to um, transfer those information on my daily page. So I don't need to like flip over like all around all the pages and find my daily page and jot down notes. It's easier for me to just 
<coughs> put a daily page between the wig um, and also I've cut some slit um, on the daily paper page um, so I don't need to open the rings every time so that's that and then that's my current wig current wig um, basically I just put some of my new collection my washi tape collection in here and then this is my first day um, so yeah I keep a bunch of those wig on two pages and then I have another bookmark so here is the rest of my daily pages as you can see I need to repunch all of them <laughs> But they're so pretty. So okay, so this is my nest nest divider. And then here's my meal planning section. Um, I just getting started to do this meal planning thing. So as you can see, sometimes I just forgot to keep track of those. But I try my best. So whenever I um my boyfriend and I went to buy grocery, I will jot down a date. And then I will jot down the things we bought. And it, we basically went out um, once a week. So if we ran out some of the some of the food, I would just check it. So next time, I just need to look at those um, checked items that I need to know um, that I know what I need to buy. <clears throat> so this is the current week because I was sick in the past uh, few days, so I really have no energy to check them down. But yeah, I just keep doing things like that. And then I have, so at the back of those meal planning or grocery list, I have a handmade folder. In here, I just put all of my receipt and coupon. And then I have another divider. Here is my recipe section, um, which I only update one but i'm doing it i'm still doing it and then goes to um my nest divider so here is um my vacation um section i have this yearly pull out calendar from follow Faxi. and then i have this let's go on an adventure kit from so much crafting so much crafting um i haven't updated it yet but i did jot down the next destination that I want to visit, which is Iceland. So I just checked on the notes about my passport control, uh, the weather and tour prices activity. I haven't finished it yet, but yeah, I'm doing it. That's the next place I want to visit. And then here's my next divider. So here is more um, about myself. So these are the package that I'm, I am expecting to receive in September. And then I have this 2016 holiday um, free printable from So Much Crafting on her blog. And then I have my wish list. And then I have my next bookmark. And then I have this 52 week saving challenge. And then I have this saving checker for the challenge from so much, so much crafting, so much crafting, so much crafting. And then I have my nest divider. This tag is from um, Coco Daisy. I have my notes in here. Um, this, yeah, as you can see, is my reading notes, my note for work, and and I have my nest bookmark. And then here is just a list of the planner website that I want to purchase from. And then I keep a bunch of um, notes, paper at the back. And then I have my last divider. <clears throat> and here is just a top loading pocket that came with the planner. Here I just keep all the documents that I need for my um, immigration so yeah that's that that's my current setup of my filofax a5 size in original red i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys soon in the next video bye bye